In the short 19 years that I've been alive, we've seen more revolutions in the way we listen to music than there are venomous snakes in Australia. We should probably fact check that. Cast your mind back to the days of vinyl records, eight tracks and cassette tapes. Buying a bit of music was a whole event. You'd hoof it down to the local record store, rummage through stacks of albums, chinwag with fellow music nerds and come home clutching your shiny new treasure. Oh, it was tangible. It was social. It was real. Then along bounces the compact disc. Like a kangaroo with a jetpack, music just got a whole lot more portable, durable and better sounding. Well, that's largely debatable. This shiny silver disc was a beaut, yet the principle was the same. You bought the album. You owned it. But hold on to your cork hats because the 2000s turned up with the internet and the MP3, a much inferior product. Music compressed to within an inch of its life and barely recognisable from the original recording. But now you could snag your favourite tracks from the comfort of your couch. You didn't need to nudge your foot out the door or even own a physical copy. Places like iTunes were selling individual songs like hotcakes and it sent the music industry spinning like a didgeridoo. Didgeridoos don't spin, chat GPT, for fuck's sake. Then, faster than a crock on a roost steak, streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music appeared. Now, instead of having a music collection, you could pay a couple of bucks a month and have any tune, anytime, anywhere. This wasn't just a change. It was like trading your bicycle for a rocket ship. Now, what the hell has this got to do with agency life? Well, much like the leap from vinyl to digital tunes, the agency biz moved from flogging physical media space to providing strategy and relationships. It's not just a shift in the how, it's a monumental change in the what. Let's take a walk down memory lane, shall we? Back to the good old days of 1841 in Philadelphia, when the smell of newspaper wafted through the air, rotary phones rang in the background, and ad space was king. What's a rotary phone, I hear you ask? Well, the rotary phone was a mechanical innovation introduced as a way to eliminate the need for switchboard operators for every single call. With a rotary dial, each number on a phone was associated with a series of electrical pulses. And when you dial the number, the phone sent the series of pulses down the line, which was then translated at the local exchange into the correct phone number that you were calling. And this removed the need for switchboard operators and gave callers more privacy. Because back then, privacy was important. It was a bit like Morse code. What's Morse code, I hear you ask? Get on with it! Back to the traditional agency business model, pioneered by Volney B. Palmer, was about as simple as a meat pie. Buy media space in newspapers in bulk and sell it to advertisers for a neat little profit. The margin was in the media. But the game really changed in 1869 when a fellow by the name of Francis Eyre created N.W. Eyre & Son. It was the first agency to actually plan, create and execute complete advertising campaigns. They weren't just reselling ad space anymore. They were now building brands and telling stories. Eyre coined the slogan, a diamond is forever for De Beers jewellery in the 1940s, which not only helped sell diamonds, but also effectively established the tradition of the diamond engagement ring. This slogan was named the best advertising slogan of the 20th century by Advertising Age and has become part of our modern vernacular. Oh, that's a bloody great word, isn't it, vernacular? Air's business model, my friends, is what we often refer to as the traditional agency model. But here's the twist. It wasn't built to scale. No siree. It was designed for a time when information was scarce and media space was a hot commodity. The margin had moved to the creative. And as mass media evolved, we saw radio and television strut onto the stage. More platforms, more reach, more commissions. From the roaring 20s to the swinging 60s, advertising was the bee's knees. Think Mad Men, less smoke, more facts. But that wasn't built to last either, was it? Enter the internet, the big bold revolution. No more secret stashes, no more hiding behind ad spaces. The jig, my friends, was up. Now with the internet at the helm, there's no margin in the media. And with the explosion of AI, there's now fuck all margin left in the creative too. But don't drown your sorrows in whiskey just yet. The internet, while stripping away the media margin and butchering the creative margin to an unrecognizable pulp, opened a whole new world of opportunity, the strategy and the relationship margin. Let me say it louder for the folks in the back. The margin is in the strategy and the relationship. If you're not getting paid for strategic advice by clients who trust you, you're fucked. Look at it this way. Back in the day, Henry Ford's ad agency was paid a percentage of the cost of media space. And Ford had no idea whether he was paying a fair price or if the agency was taking the piss. Now, thanks to our mate, the interwebs, clients know exactly what they're paying for an impression, a click, a page view, a form submission, an appointment booking, a client acquisition, 
a checkout entry, a card abandonment, a sale, an upsell, a downsell, a referral. And as long as they're getting ROI or ROADS, they're willing to pay for it. Just as the physical albums got replaced with something more floaty but just as solid, the old school agency model is six feet under, replaced with the deep, meaningful relationships and strategies. It's a ripper of a change, a bit like swapping your shrimp on the barbie for a gourmet lobster thermidor, served by a maitre d' with a cheeky grin. In both cases, technology didn't just knock on the door, it kicked the shit out of it and threw one hell of a party. So strap yourselves in, folks, because this party's just getting started. If you like this video, even if you don't, click the thumb that points up, subscribe, and share this with someone you know who's trying to grow their agency and is close to burning the whole thing to the ground. I'm Troy Dean, and remember, your underwear's meant for one day only.